All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, welcome for another FFT AI battle. So on top, we have Silent Caster, and on bottom, we have uh, Mirei. Uh, once again, these two are going to go head to head, but different team this time for Mirei. So for the units, we got I Am the Thief, Really Bad the Priest, at Naming the Squire, my unit's the Priest. So... I am really bad at naming my units, so that's that. And now for Mirai's team, we got Kiss Me the Thief, Fear Me the Dark Behemoth, Antagonize Me the Monk, and Ignore Me the Time Mage. So, uh, a part of the reason why I got uh, Mirai's team once again is because I wanted to actually, um, or her other team with the monster is I wanted to actually throw Silent Caster to the wolves and see how he actually does against a higher tiered team. Uh, not only that, but I thought it would also give Mirai a shot for some vengeance for her previous team, uh, uh, not doing so stellar from previous matches. So, um, you guys may or may not hear it in the macro. My next door neighbor got another dog recently. Um, she had one before, but she put that one down. But now she's got another one that's a little obnoxious. So you may hear it through these brick walls or whatever, but alas. Um, other than that, let's get right to it then. So pretty much Silent Caster's got a status theme team, and this is just strictly offense. Dark Behemoth could easily one-shot every one of these units. Just look. The Squire is the highest HP, not even 300. So I'm pretty sure that he can one-shot a lot of people. So we're going to just get right to the thick things. Um, I guess the map we'll go to is... Let's go to uh, let's go to Delta. There's a lot of gaps in the middle of the map itself, but... I'm sure who's going to take this. Um, I'm inclined to believe it's going to be Mirai. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, the Time Mage having haste, of course. So she's going to be able to kind of do her thing. I don't think the thief's going to get too far away. Um, she does have a love at speed, though. But that, uh, it just depends on whether these units act intelligent or not. Sometimes they just hang back. Q-Med's kind of nice because it's going to increase the two swords damage once they get into range. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of hanging back right now, Miri's team. I've seen teams like this in the past do that. Um, they would just kind of sit in that corner. Yeah, see, I don't know what they're doing. Like, the monk could have just moved towards the behemoth and he's moving that way, which is really awkward. Um, again, the behemoth is really tanky, but he's very vulnerable to status. Um, Acumen is going to... Ooh, jumped over the little platform. Uh, no status, probably because of the don't act. Any mimic deer wants to counter it? Uh, no, sadly... Uh, both missed. He is incapacity with don't act. Um, thankfully, the time age is kind of moving the other way. Um, another mimic Dareva? He does trigger, so two for two on status for Silent Caster, zero for one for Mirai. Uh, wow, three for three. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Berserk. Oh, Berserk actually. Oh wow, one shot because of good combat and uh, sleeping damage. If this hits, yeah, if that hit, that could have actually backfired because the punches would do so much damage. Like legit, the punches would do like, you know, the punches would do like 300 damage and be enough to one shot people, no problem. Nice attempt at the accessory being stolen. Another mid charge? No, no, he's a little out of range. You couldn't really see from that perspective. Uh, so status is kind of kicking their ass right now. Yeah, what is that? Four for five status procs. So uh, pretty lucky for Silent Caster that he's able, able to just apply all this range damage immediately. Not even re not even damage too. Just the fact that every single like uh, again eighty percent of the status procs have gone off. Yeah, five for six status procs. Yeah. So what is that? Um, yeah, six out of eight status procs have occurred. The sleeps, the, st the stops. They literally haven't been able to move into range at all. Um, it's just so unfortunate. See, that's what the Dark Behemoth can do. He can literally just one-shot people, but... Um, when you have six out of eight status procs going off, there's not much you can do. 
Yeah, so it's just up to a dark behemoth now. And uh, he's not going to be able to pull this off by himself, sadly. Yeah, I think this, um, the position he kind of fucked the uh, Ace team over. I thought she was going to, I thought it was going to be a lot more overwhelming pressure, but immediately again, he just gets incapacitated. When you have six out of eight statuses applying, it's very hard to come back from that. Another kill shot, which is nice. Um, if Berserk hit, that would be like a one shot. Yeah, that's like, whatever, 60% with a 35 faith. Go, he's best combat. <sighs> wow, that behemoth's doing his thing, but I don't think he's going to be able to pump out enough damage. Uh, I could be wrong. Yeah, if they just keep on doing single target resurrections, uh, it's going to be kind of hard. He still got one shot. Or the slow finally wore off on the behemoth, but again, they got to pump some damage out. I don't know. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Um, if he misses a shot on that squire, uh, it's safe to say that the behemoth is dead. And again, single panel targeting of uh, spells. <laughs> 22 HP heal. Yeah, right. Bypasses all that evasion. Remember, she's got move MP up and uh, raise two with short charge. So, good chance of instantly reviving. Mm. Yeah, permanent 1v5. Or, wow, 1v4. One, one I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, any charms? No, nice explosion heal, though. Brings the male priest back into the fray. Don't move. Misses this time. All right. Uh, is she... Yeah, Hamido does not work against units like that. Um, I'm not sure what that status is, but it's probably something really weak. Uh, lackluster. Yeah, another don't move. Okay. So again, we've seen this in the in the past, and that's kind of a nice utilization right there. The thief, since she's attacking the dark behemoth from up above, he's not going to be able to apply counter. So very clever. Um, yeah, but with the way this is going right now, uh, uh, he's going to be in critical very soon. Uh, this dark behemoth, um, and that did miss a little, a little unfortunate. But as I as I was saying beforehand. Um, Silent Caster's team really doesn't have a lot of damage. Honestly, it's just crossing their fingers with uh, the status procs. If they go off, then uh, it's basically over. Um, yeah, and Hamido, like I said, doesn't trigger on monster attacks as such. Um, again, we're just very patiently waiting for basically the Squire to do all the heavy lifting. Because, I mean, they're doing all this chip damage, like 40 damage bag smacks and 30 damage staff ra uh, staff wax. But it's pretty much this uh, squire that has to do all the work. So basically, if none of the status works, um, Zynecaster's team gets kind of fucked. But unfortunately for Mirei this round, every, like, again, like I said, you know, 7 out of 9 status procs triggered. And your team really can't do anything when they're charmed or don't act, they're put to sleep. Like, imagine how much of an impact it would make, right? If, like, the... Imagine, like, Mira got lucky and got, like, a double sleep with that Mimic Darabine where she missed both people. Imagine how big of an impact that would make. But, again, you know, it's a dice roll in Behemoth's final turn. So, this is going to Silent Caster for sure. Unfortunately, uh... uh I, I'd also say it's part of the map, too, because, like, the, the Monk... Got a little bit separated, and the Time Mage was just hanging kind of too far back, so they really couldn't do anything there. Um, let's go to round two, though. This should be kind of this should be a, a lot more uh, fast-paced. And oh, I uh, boomered it! God damn it, that's the wrong team. <laughs> all right, all right. This should be uh, this is the correct memory card, right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's go to. I'm not really sure we should go for a small. Uh, let's go to Dorder Trade City. I believe this is the one where it's been modified. Uh, so, you know, where you fight um, that bandit where you meet Vormov. Uh, it used to be a slope terrain and uh, it's been edited so that it's flat. The entire set of spaces are flat altogether. That's why it looks different. Um, you can see why it would be arguably a small. So sleep does trigger this time, which is kind of nice. Uh, Berserk. Mm, thankfully that didn't hit because, again, the status thief makes all the difference. And a bit of friendly fire, but hey, you know what? You get two for one, right? 
you take more than half of the squire's life and you instantly kill someone. Pretty nice. In return, just resolve that female thief. So, that's probably a pure spell. Oh, two for two on the statuses once again. Uh, that's what's gonna kind of that's what's gonna kind of bone uh, uh, Mire if they keep on going off. Um, no Hamido, uh, for, uh, unfortunately for Southern Caster, but it's not gonna matter too much because the Explosion heals up the majority of the life. Um, yeah, uh, we're just gonna have to wait for this uh, Time Mage if she has even an opportunity to do so. We're just gonna have to wait for the time mage to use like an Asuna to get rid of a uh, two don't axe. Assuming she's not put the sleep or anything. Looks like Asuna, and then yep, nice short charge Asuna, and she cures both of them. So that's like absolutely essential right there. And another Hamido does not trigger a little bit too bad. Now <laughs> they get put, both put back to sleep immediately. Oh my god! So four for four on status once again for like, Silent Caster. Um. I don't know what she's going for here. It's probably like a don't act or something. But simple Asuna will get rid of it altogether. Any charms? No, 42%. Odds were not favorable for Hermira in that front, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, so the female square hasn't incurred a lot of a damage. Yeah, see again, so these statuses are kind of worthless. If she's just going to use an Asuna and immediately cancel them. Assuming they connect, they should with good or best compat. So, Mirai is a little bit on the back foot right now. Um, she is recovering with the Asuna. very nice of her. Uh, again, Hamido. Uh, that, uh, yeah. The, the AI didn't really see that, I guess. Um, but no, we should be seeing the... Uh, yeah. Uh, we're probably going to see like a Wayfist or an Earth Slash to finish off that uh, monk. Even with the heal. Or the finish off that Squire. That Squire really is the problem. Um... Just the constant statuses she's able to apply from a distance, and then once she's in range, if she gets targeted with melee, she can use Hamido. A good chance, like what, seventy percent chance of triggering it. Um, that looks like a demi spell, but he could probably just go for an Earth Slash right here, right? Yep, get double kill. No, he didn't even get a double kill, but he was very close. Um, yeah, so the Dark Behemoth, unfortunately, can't do anything. And wow, Demi-2 does not trigger on either of them. That's a little bit too bad. Uh, charm still misses. Uh, zero for two on your charms. X-Potion should bring her back to life, and then she should be able to charge in there and start doing some melee. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, Blade Grasp. Oh, uh, avoids the first shot, but she immediately gets put to sleep with a 25% chance. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of grateful that the Berserks are missing. Uh, no, don't do that. You idiot. <laughs> I think the now I could be wrong, but it looks like the monk would be able to hit the squire from behind her. Like, because then the Hamido wouldn't trigger. The the high panels would be too far away. Alright, charm. Third time is not the charm, sadly. Um Yeah, we're just again we're waiting very patiently for this uh Ooh, looks like a double status on the squire, and it looks like Oh, that's this is not good. Yeah, that um, that that uh, squire has been like bait, basically. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll refer. I'll, I'll kind of point out. What I, was, I want to point out what I was talking about specifically. So when this monk did the Hamido, and actually, I don't know, the monk might have been too high up to actually attack the squire. But I mean, it is leaning downwards. I don't remember. I think it might be three height or um, less you can attack someone. So he might have been too far away. Yeah. So. If the monk was able to do that, he could have just literally punched her in the back, punched her in the head b behind her back and killed her, but that did not trigger. Um, Alright, so the MP's back for that uh, squire, but the question is if the time mage... The question is if the time mage is going to be able to revive... Um, yeah, 99% chance. So she's going to survive both shots, I believe, to have a any opportunity of taking this back. So unfortunately, it misses. Um, well, fortunately, I should say for Mirai. But goddamn. Um, Alright, so she's got to dodge two more shots. Yeah, so this is over. Uh, once again, the status and, again, that uh, Squire has just been Hamido bait. 
Um, and I gotta make sure because I think she hit every single one. Yeah, 50% she actually she didn't hit everyone, but the majority of the Hamidos triggered at 50%. So yeah, a little bit lucky I'd say like casters in for that squire. Because that squire literally wasted so many turns from the monk. Um the monk could have done like earth slashes from a distance, but the AI doesn't always see that. They just see, oh well, I can kill this person with a uh, a punch. Because the punches do do more damage than uh punches do indeed do more damage. Um they do more damage than uh I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking for. They do more damage than like the typical wayfist or, or slash. So they'll try to go for that kill shot if need be, if necessary. So there's no more revival. It's a permanent 2v4. Because remember that Mirae's theme thief has got talk skill. So she can't wake up out of out of the action. Um Yeah. I mean, thankfully, a sleep, a mimic derivant has occurred, and a charm. So the status is actually kind of now coming back into her favor. But it's this priest that's uh, pretty much the crux of a uh, uh, Sunlight Caster's team. Like that, that's the that priest is the sole reason why they're alive because of the you know instant raise twos with a move MP up and essentially having unlimited mana. Um, another raise two about eighty percent. It does trigger. As long as that, uh, that, uh, all right, well, I was going to say, yeah, as long as this behemoth keeps on getting turns in and just shuts her down, remember that this priest has, uh, this male priest can do some shit and the best can path that remember that male has best can path with everybody. So, uh, it's definitely going to look like it's going to go to Mirai at the very end. Those stasses are absolutely necessary. Um, it just really depends on these thieves or this, uh, priest. She can heal. Nice charm, but uh, that thief should be able to get a turn and maybe go for a double Mimic Derivon. Am I right? No, it goes for another charm, unfortunately. Um, Berserk. Thankfully, it misses on the status unit. Uh, who's going to die here? So the male priest does, but and now it's just solely the female priest to survive everything. She's Oh, she misses an 80%, so luck is now finally turning into Mireille's favor. Yeah, so it's it's solely off this priest, and she's taken out. Wow. So Mirai came back from a 4v2 because she got some statuses of her own. Wow. Pretty interesting. Let's go to a tiebreaker. All right, let's go there. I thought that it was going to be a 2-0 sweep for Mirai personally, but no. All these statuses from a distance I've been applying and just kind of been keeping her at bay. Um, let's go to... Trying to find a Let's go to Bervenio. Actually... Yeah, Bravenia Volcano. Yeah, we'll do that. So, the, let's see. Yeah, this behemoth might be a little bit inhibited by the movement. So where this priest, as you can see, is this female priest to her left, where all those little rock tiles are. He might be limited with, like, the damage he does if they just kind of hang back. But if they all, if they all march in that little alleyway... That can do some respectable damage. 95 damage, damage but pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, so here's where she could do like a double don't act, right? Yeah. Now, thankfully, the time age is uh, right there in case the, an Asuna can get cast. Um, I don't think they're going to move before the uh, don't act is going to take root. Oh, no, she does. Triple Mimic Derivon. Oh, you get two out of three. Now, that that is a huge... The question is, did the thief move out of range? She did, yes. Uh, Dark Behemoth can easily get cured of that with uh, an Asuna. Um, and remember, the female priest is the one who has Asuna. Um, yeah, the female priest is the one that has Asuna, not the male. So it cannot be cured. Um, any charms? Yeah, but to, that, that was absolutely essential right there for Mirai, at least to me, to come back from this. Was getting uh, a double double sleep two out of three sleeps up 30 percent to me that was absolutely necessary uh probably a bag shot yeah okay okay now since the don't act was targeting on the priest oh wait 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 double panel earth slash right yeah oh shit all right well the the male priest is alive but he took he took a he unfortunately put himself in a bad position to get friendly fire by that monk that's what i was referring to earlier that monk just needs to go do some uh 
Oh, wow. Abandoned. She thankfully survived both shots, because I think if she got hit by one, she would have died. Uh, that looks like a like a 250 HP cure. I'm not sure who that's targeted on against. Probably that thief. Um, another double bolt panel earth slash, like I said. Um, it's a very smart. Two, you know, two targets for one. Uh, for one action. Uh, Charm doesn't cancel it out, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, yeah, that behemoth really hasn't done anything. Again, with it being such a narrow corridor, um, they haven't been able to do much. Yeah, not the highest HP heal. Again, with low faith, that, that makes a difference. All right, unfortunately, that 20% evasion from the Dracula Mantle did not uh, take root. A um, little bit of a waste of a bag shot. You'd think she'd go for like a charm or something, but she did not. Um, all right, that monk could just uh, Hamido bait. Yep, yep. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. He could have just done like a wave fist and killed her off. <laughs> and another sleep. Wow. This is this is similar to one of the previous matches where it was literally three v four, like with the priest being put to sleep. Oh, he don't act. Oh wow, and that really backfired there. That is so unfortunate. Because now uh, the female squire is vulnerable to melee damage. You know, she doesn't have Hamido available to her because she's uh, incapacitated with uh, don't act. Uh, yeah, this monk will, should be able to just finish her off unless he finishes off this. Yeah, okay. I can kind of get behind that. These priests are doing everything they can in their power just to stay alive. Don't move. That really isn't going to matter. Yeah, even if it did hit. Because a simple wave fist would kill her. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, Dark Behemoth is just doing his thing. Pronging girls up the ass like that. Um, again, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for that. Uh... Oh, wow, and the Ray's missed. Yeah. This uh, th this this definitely looks like it's going to be going to Mirai for sure this time. Uh, yeah, char yeah, two units being dead. The last revivor going down, even if the charm didn't hit. And now she should be dead after like a punch. Yeah, so. Wow, that was uh, completely different compared to the first two rounds. Um, so with that said, congratulations to Mirai. You take vengeance for this uh, particular uh, bout uh, with your monster team. Uh, Silent Caster, uh, you put on a good show, and I'm sure it was a bit obnoxious uh, on Mirai's end, just having the, have her, for her having to just fight back so hard. So, all right. Well, with that said, I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Then I'm going to be getting this uh, match right up on YouTube immediately from the stream, and uh, yeah, uh, take care until then.